Hello and welcome to my new hockey vlog. In this vlog I'm going to tell you everything I take with me to a goalie training. So when I go coaching and that's why I'm sitting in my car because uh, I take everything with me every day in my car. So uh, have fun! I told it I think in my first vlog that um, I drive a lot around in my car to several clubs. Uh, on Monday I'm near Utrecht and in Utrecht, I live in Utrecht so that is not that far. On Tuesday I go all the way to uh, Antwerp uh, on two different clubs over there. Wednesday is Amsterdam day, Thursday as well and Friday as well so all to Amsterdam uh, and sometimes I'd go to on a Friday evening to several clubs so do uh, coaching sessions over there as well uh, but it's not on a, on a solid base so uh, every week is a bit different and that means that I'm at least 10 hours a week I'm in my car um, so that means that everything I have uh, for the goalie sessions I have to take with me all the time because I have my own equipment and, and I'm going to show you uh, everything that I have uh, and why I have it with me and uh, what I do with it and why I take it with me. Okay, here you can see a bit inside my car. Um, there's not a lot in it now. And that is because uh, everything is uh, now over there. Because uh, I just finished my coaching session. So I'm going to show you what uh, now is still in my car that I don't use that often. And uh, most of the things that are outside uh, I use every day and daily. Um, still right here, I have my goggles, the, the one uh, that narrows the view. So I viewed it as, uh, showed it as well in uh, an earlier vlog. So you, if you want to know more about it, go have a look in another, in another vlog. Uh, I have my water bottle, uh, a 2 liter water bottle, I drink a lot of water because uh, as a goalie coach you're quite active uh, so you need to hydrate every time so I drink a lot of water and what I have here is a bag of tennis balls I use them sometimes as a, for some drills uh, when as a goalie there's a bit scared of the ball maybe or uh, in a difficult situation from close range uh, has shots on goal. Uh, I first tried to do it with uh, tennis balls then that makes them more comfortable uh, to stop those balls because uh, they never hurt um, and then we switch to normal balls and if they then know and are comfortable that they can stop the ball uh, I switch uh, to the normal balls and uh, then they are comfortable again to save the balls. Um, by luck, I have now my uh, goalie pants with me. Yeah, it is a bit broken. I need a new one. Um, and yesterday, someone asked if they could uh, fit this one. They wanted to know if it was, this was a good, uh, good pants and if the size was right so before they ordered it online. So that's why it is in my car. I have a deflection board in my car. I didn't use it today. Uh, and there are still two bags of balls. Because yesterday I was on Dragon uh, and I had to coach uh, all the top teams and at one hour there were uh, a bit more goalies uh, than I could handle myself so uh, the other goalie Tobias was there as well uh, and he helped me out so he needed as well some hockey balls uh, so I took some extra with me and normally I do that on a Monday and a Tuesday every time because then on Laren and on Dragon um, we do the same so I have uh, two or three more goalie trainers next to me and I take the, all the balls I have at home with me so they have enough hockey balls because on every exercise I think for a goalie session there should be at least 100 hockey balls otherwise you can't do a proper training session um, as well over here is another shark uh, the deflector as it's called from Obo uh, I have two uh, and today I just used one um, so here's the other one that can also go into my car right now Hoppa. Um, what I also have are the catch boards I have two of them um, and I use them today and the difference in between the catch it uh, the green one the tipper uh, and the shark is the speed that the ball goes out of uh, when you hit it in uh, or throw it in um, and the deflection it can make sometimes the, the the shark can really deflect the ball and can put it high and low uh, the orange boards just put it all uh, high 
and doesn't really deflect it and the tipper uh, puts it high and deflects it a little bit uh, but also the speed is different on every one you use so that everyone can go in as well and another one boom can go in there all the way in the back um, then have my stick bag um, you can see it over here this is my stick bag I carry a lot of ba uh, sticks uh, with me all day um, I don't know exactly why because I have a stick bag it is easy to put more in than when you have them uh, laying in your car um, the sticks I use the GR7000 I use for goalie session and uh, this is the one I use right now but it's almost done because so, I, I now use it for about six months um, and when you use a stick literally every day six months then it's ruined um, the weird one is I have three more in my bag this one is already done I don't know why it's still in there uh, don't use it this is the one with a different kind of grip um, it's almost new so one my stick I use now is uh, ruined and completely kaput done then I have that one as well and then I have one that's still in plastic um, so when I break two in a day I still have this one um, and next to that I have the Gro uh, Grace Goldie sticks um, which I showed in an earlier vlog before uh, I have them over here the grey sticks uh, I take them with me all the uh, all the time because a lot of goalies want to try them out uh, and they want to train with it uh, because they are looking for a new stick and then I say this stick is the best stick you can have and it is really really I think the best stick you can have as a goalie so then you can just um, I think it falls down over there uh, and then they can try it uh, and maybe um, order it before they uh, uh, they can really try it before they want to buy it. Um, and then, as the last one, I have my lacrosse stick. Uh, the lacrosse stick I use for uh, flicking balls on goal. Um, for the penalty corners and sometimes uh, regular high balls on goal to train uh, the high shots. And then now, one of the most important things is my hockey balls. I have two crates of full of hockey balls. Um, I usually take every session I do, I take 250 hockey balls with me uh, to do the coaching session um, and I use yellow balls and I got a lot of questions why I use yellow balls and it's literally easier and simpler than you should think it's not for the view of the goalie that it's better um, yes this type of yellow is better for the goalie uh, but it, if it's white or yellow that doesn't really matter it is because I'm on the pitch uh, on one side most of the times and then there is a team on another side and every team uses white balls and in one season two seasons ago I lost 350 hockey balls not by that the goalies tip them over the net and I lose them uh, but also because um, the other team they hit on goal so away from me I play the balls on the goalie the goalie plays them away from the goal so towards the other side and if they're all white then I'll never know if it's my ball or their ball and then you lose some balls and that mean meant 350 balls in one season so that's why I switched to yellow balls and the yellow balls are definitely mine um, and I have this bright yellow uh, because if you use a ball uh, a lot uh, they will get a bit darker like the white balls they turn a bit gray uh, but this ball keeps this uh, color and if you are on the pitch in uh, the evening uh, and you have a bit darker balls as a goalie you don't see them that well uh, and these balls keep their color so they're awesome uh, and I have uh, almost all of them in here are yellow balls and there are 250 um, I have my car so I can uh, really I can drive with it to take it from one pitch to the other pitch and that's very easy so they don't have to really carry them all um, because uh, when you have also the catches, the shark, your sticks and 250 balls, you don't want to carry everything, then it's more an exercise for me than an exercise for the goalies. So that's why I use this one. Um, 
And as the last, what goes in my car on top of everything is my crazy catch. I now have one with me. Uh, I have several at home. I have a smaller one, uh, a bigger one. I have two of these. Um, and I especially use them for uh, coordination for the goalies. Uh, when there's a goalie alone, I can use it to have a ball from me and a ball from another angle uh, to throw in. Um, and I also use it for reactions. So um, I use that a lot as well. Um, that's everything I use for goalie session but that's not everything that is in my car of course okay but that's not everything I have in my car uh, I now packed in everything that uh, is in my car and I just showed you so it's now all in the back of my car um, but here I have a lot I, I sort of if I, I told you I, I spent 10 hours a week in my car so I sort of live in here um, so what I always have is some extra clothes and that means uh, yeah a cap for when there's a lot of sun but also when there's a lot of rain I put a cap on and I can still look at the players instead of uh, like this and I uh, because the rain is in my uh, in my face I always have here a rain jacket and a rain yeah shorts pants I have some extra spare clothes so if I uh, get very wet during the day and uh, I don't put on my rain jacket, I still have some spare clothes uh, and dry clothes. Uh, also always uh, dry shoes, uh, socks, etc, etc. Um, yeah, it is pretty hot right now. So I have some sunscreen always with me, um, keeps protected. Um, what I also have yeah, for in the car, of course, some sunglasses, um, an extra grip. I always take it with me when I feel my one is done on my uh, stick. Uh, I can put on another one. And what you then also need is some tape, of course. So I also always have it with me. And there are always goalies asking, uh, do you have some tape? So um, I have it with me. The other end, of course. Uh, being a goalie uh, trainer is uh, a tough, uh, a tough one. So you do a lot. Let me see what's in here. This one I got from my girlfriend, and it's actually very, very nice. Um, I'm sort of sometimes a bit tense after a long day of, uh, like yesterday, a seven-hour day on the pitch, and I drove from uh, Antwerp to uh, my home, so a one and a half hour drive, uh, and a little, little bit of pain in my neck. And what I then is perfect, and a perfect uh, present from my girlfriend to me is um, this is sort of massage ball, so I can. Uh, during driving, I'm like this on the highway. Uh, it's very comfortable for your neck and releases the stress and the pain in your neck. Um, so, uh, girlfriend, thank you for that. Um, oh, it's not, yeah, now I have two bags over here. Uh, you cannot see it in the passenger seat uh, with some extra clothes uh, because um, in between some sessions, I sometimes go to the gym um, and then. I use uh, I have my gym, clo gym clothes with me now because uh, now I'm done with the day uh, and I'm going to the gym as well uh, and I have a bag with uh, some food what I always take with me are some um, rice waffles and uh, some peanut butter um, uh, some hummus uh, uh, and uh, some yogurt um, so that I have always with me um, and now, I've, yeah, I think I also have my tablet with me and the book where I can pay, make some notes in. Uh, and sometimes I also take my laptop if I uh, have to. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this hockey vlog. Uh, and now you know what I all take with me uh, to a goalie session. Uh, and I hope to see you in my next vlog. Bye bye.